Every year, the Women of Achievement Awards highlights the amazing work local women are doing in their field and the community. Cribs for Kids hosts this wonderful event, and I am here now with the founder and CEO, our friend Judy Bannon, along with Kelly Frost, who was honored last year. Thank you both for coming on today. Thank, Thank you. you. And I was there to see you get your award. It was, it was such yes. a wonderful night always. It was. And Judy, why did you decide to start this event? What inspired you? Well, I've always been a proponent of strong women and the work that they do, and I, and I always felt that women didn't get their just due. So uh, when we were looking for an event to help support Cribs for Kids and provide cribs, to low-income families and teach mothers about safe sleep, uh, my first thought was to do an event where we honored women. Yeah. And it started 17 years ago, so this, is, this will be our 17th year of honoring women. And uh, usually we honor between 20 and 25 strong women from the Pittsburgh area, and it's a wonderful event. And as you know, you were the MC last year and a former award winner. Uh, so we were thrilled to have you and we're looking forward to you hosting our next event. I can't wait to be part of it again because it really is an inspiring night and, and really to be in the presence of so many accomplished women and women who are doing so many wonderful things. Kelly, what was the work that you were honored for? So I was honored for establishing Peel, which is Pittsburgh's Elevated and Emerging Leaders. It came out last year and it's really built on joy and networking and philanthropy and giving back to the community. And really, I was so honored to receive that, but as I always say, it wasn't just me. We have a whole team of champions, which is what we call our volunteers, and they give their hearts and everything else that they have to the organization, and we were just really proud. What was it like to be nominated and then to receive the award that night? Well, I have to say, I've known Judy for a while. <laughs> so it really was a full circle for me yeah. um, in several different ways. First, uh, the Omni is where it was held, which is where I had my senior prom. Oh, gosh, <laughs> so it really was full circle. Yes, and I tell you, like, walking in, and when I was in high school, I didn't feel like um, I was one of the nerds, which is okay. Sure. Yes, it is. Yes, and it is. Uh, walking in that night it was a little bit of a different feeling. And whenever I first met Judy was their very first golf outing. So it was really the beginning of the entire process. So being able to be there that night was, um, it was really special just to watch their organization grow over the years. Yeah, and, and Judy, talk about how these awards help to continue and support women who are doing these wonderful things. Well, by highlighting their work, so many of the women are able to network with other women that yes. evening and um, make new friends and they can uh, spread what they're doing onto the other women. We're um, so excited uh, about the women that we have chosen over the years. We have a mix of pe women who have excelled in business and then we have women who have started a nonprofit from nothing and they're helping people in the community and those women get to meet the powerful business women and make connections so it's it's a great event. There's a very special part of the evening too and that is the Laura Ditka Award for yes. Advocacy and Service. Tell us about that very special award and honor. Well Laura Ditka was um, worked in the district attorney's office, Steve Zapala's office when we started Cribs for Kids back in 1998. Wow. We're celebrating our 25 year anniversary. Congratulations. This year. Yes. And Laura immediately became involved in our event. She became the M MC. She went on to work in the Attorney General's office and died suddenly in her 50s of, of a heart, heart attack, which just floored all of us. Yeah. So when she passed, we wanted to make sure she was president, present at every one of our events. And so we formed the Laura Ditka Award, and her sister-in-law, Sam Ditka, actually um, searches for the right person to receive that award. So. That's wonderful. And it just wonderful. adds to the special part yes. of the evening. Mm -hmm. Thank you both for coming on. And remember, you can nominate somebody. Nominations yes. for the awards are now open. They will close December 3rd at 11.59 p.m. If you're interested in submitting a name, we are going to have a link on our website. The planning committee will notify honorees next month. It's really special.
Still to come on Talk Pittsburgh, more Americans die from lung cancer than any other cancer. We are sharing what treatments are available and when surgery is not the best option.